Your personality is not permanent. It is flexible. It is not your truth. You get to decide, you get to define who you're going to be. And in this video, I break down how to change your personality, how your personality is formed and why it doesn't need to define you. And that's what's coming up right now. Hi and welcome back to the Conscious Leaders TV. I'm Nick Matzner, I'm your leadership coach and here in this video I break down how your personality is formed, why personality is not permanent, why you can change it and then I'll show you how to change your personality, how to become someone else, how to see yourself differently and behave differently and get different results. Because there's this famous saying from Dr. Joe Dispenza who says, your personality creates your personal reality. And there's this other saying that says, we don't get in life what we want, we always get in life that of which we are. So who we are at our most basic level determines what we get, the, the things we create in our life. So whether you want to have more success, deeper relationships, you just want to be more open and confident, all those things are dependent on your personality, who you are. So how is your personality formed and how can you change it? That's a real question. So first let's talk about how is your personality formed. To understand this, you need to understand that your personality is, is a story that you are telling yourself over and over and over again and you believe this to be true about yourself. You may believe, I am shy, I am unworthy, I don't deserve this, I'm open, I'm confident. Every belief you have about who you are and what you deserve in life. That is your personality. That is what you believe about yourself and that is dependent on the story you tell yourself, the story of why this is true. So for example, as a young man, like as a young teenager, I was very confident, I was very open. And at 14 years old, I decided, well, I want to like attract girls. I want to like, I got interested in girls, let's say that. And then at 14 years old, I decided, well, I want to take the next step. So I was bold, I was confident. And I decided I'm going to reach out to this girl, which I found myself really attracted to. And because I didn't know how to do that, I only had references from movies because none of my parents ever talked about this. My friends didn't talk about this. They had no experience. So I thought, well, you write a love letter. That's what they do in the movies. So I wrote a love letter and let's just say it didn't turn out the way I wanted it. And on my 14th birthday, to be clear, two weeks after I wrote that love letter, I got a letter back and that girl, I, I, mean, I felt crushed. It was my birthday and man, it was tough. It was really tough. And on that day, I decided I'm not worthy. On that day, I decided I don't deserve this. I'm not good enough. And from that day on, before then, I was confident. I was bold. But from that day on, I was shy. I didn't speak up anymore. I was insecure. I always valued other people's opinions more than my own. I became someone else. Unconsciously, because I, I decided that, but not on a conscious level. And that's what we need to understand about our personality. We decide that often, unconsciously. We're not even aware of it. And when it's going in the way we don't want it to, it most often is unconscious. We just say, okay, this is who I am now. This is me. But it wasn't me. Before that, I had no proof that I am shy or that I'm insecure. I thought I was bold. I thought I was confident. I thought I was open. But I made a decision in that moment. I am shy. I am insecure. I am not good enough. And here's the thing. That belief, that story, it catches on momentum. It creates its momentum of itself. Before then I was bold, I was confident, but I didn't see that part of me anymore. I was creating new momentum for I am shy, I am insecure, by creating proof that this is who I am now. 
So my personality, it wasn't like inborn, innate. I decided that and I created proof that this is who I am by acting in alignment with those beliefs. I believed I am shy and therefore in class, I didn't speak up anymore. I, I just didn't. I didn't speak my truth. I was terrified of other people's opinions. I created more proof that I am actually shy, that I am actually not bold, not confident, that I'm actually not worthy of love. I created this new personality, but this was me. This wasn't me. This is just a story I have been telling myself and I've been telling myself that story for like seven years until I was 21 years old where that story, and you might be at this point where that story, it just didn't work anymore. I just didn't work anymore because I was at a low point in my life where I had never been on a date, had never had sex, had never been in a relationship and I desperately wanted those things. And that story just didn't match anymore. Before that, I tried to work around that story. I tried to find ways to get in a relationship, but I was getting in my own way all the time. And then I realized I need to be someone else. I need to change. I need to change from within. And that moment changed everything. So first and foremost, understand that your personality, it is just a story. And we give that story meaning. We give that story meaning. I had this one experience and oftentimes it's just one experience that told me I'm not good enough. But that was just the meaning I gave it. I mean, in itself, being rejected, it has no meaning. Nobody's judging you. Nobody's ridiculing you. And your value is depending on you. But I decided I'm not worthy enough. I, I don't deserve this. And that changed the story I told about myself. I could have told a different story. I could have told a story, yeah, I am bold. I am confident because I went for it. Yeah, I got rejected, but that's part of the journey. That's part of the, like, the, the journey of life. But I didn't see it that way. So often we have these experiences, maybe one or maybe a few of those, that tell us we are a certain way or we have our environment tell us we are a certain way. So as a young age, I also often was told that I am not talking a lot. And that strengthened that belief that I am shy. But this wasn't me. This wasn't natural. I decided this. And yeah, as a little child, maybe I didn't talk so much. There's nothing wrong with that. I still was confident, I was still was open, I still went for what I wanted. This doesn't tell anything about my personality. But my environment and that experience, it created a personality where I was shy, where I was insecure. Until I decided, I just made a choice, I want to be someone else. I want to live a different life. I want to feel differently about myself. And that's the most important thing to understand. Your personality is only your personality that you inhabit right now because of habit, because of momentum. You've been conditioning yourself to be this certain way. And therefore, you are capable of changing that. When you can change the momentum of your personality, you can change your life. So once I decided I want to be different, I want to be open, I want to be confident. I want to be charismatic. I want to be able to express my truth. Once I made that choice, here's the most important part. I created stretch experiences that put me in environments that forced me to grow outside of my comfort zone. That forced me to be, grow beyond who I thought I was. I created new proof of my new self. So for six months after I made that choice, every single day, I did go out on the street to talk to one new stranger. This was not in alignment with who I thought I was, but I was creating an experience over and over and over and over and over again, where I created a new personality, where I created new proof of who I thought I was. So for six months, I went out with the intention of talking to one new woman because I was terrified of women specifically. 
And truth to be told, most of the time I did bail. But every single time I did that, every single time I did go out with the intention, and that terrified me, with the intention to talk to one new woman, every time it was a victory. Every time I created new proof of who I thought I was. I was letting go of the old story and created a new one. I decided this is the vision I'm pursuing. This is who I want to be. And then I created proof around that. I created proof around that. That's so important to understand. Everything you want to create in your life is dependent on who you think you are. And you can change that by first declaring a vision you want to pursue. That's key. You need to know where you're going. Because oftentimes we don't know where we're going and we just like accept what is given to us. I accepted being shy. I accepted being insecure. It didn't feel good, but I didn't believe this vision. I didn't believe I could achieve who I wanted to be. I didn't believe that I could create a life that is extraordinary. I believed I'm mediocre, but that's not true. It's not true. So first declare a vision, then create stretch experiences that move you outside your comfort zone. And there are two ways to do this. Number one, take actions every single day. Just one thing today and then tomorrow and next week, every single day to wire in a new self. I did this just recently anew. Like I first, like at 21 years old, I decided I'm not going to be shy and insecure anymore. Then in my business, just in like July 2020, I realized I wasn't moving forward. I wasn't making momentum. I wasn't making progress. And there was, again, my personality in my own way. I didn't see myself as someone who was impacting millions of people. I just didn't see myself that way. So I decided every single day, I'm going to create a new video on my YouTube channel because I saw that vision of me. I saw that vision of me doing that every single day. And I did that for like nine months and I'm still doing it from Monday to Friday here on this channel. If you haven't subscribed already then smash that like button and subscribe down below. But um, I was doing that every single day to wire in this new self, to gain proof that I am impacting millions of people, even though I didn't. I mean, when I started this before I already had my YouTube channel, and I was doing a video every single week. And my videos were getting around like 10, 15 views. Now, as I was doing them daily, my videos had like three views or five or sometimes zero. But I was attached to the outcome. I was attached to the process. I was attached of, to gaining new proof of who I want to be. And then just being that. Because here's another truth. Everything you get in life is dependent on who you are being. So when you can wire in a new way of being, a new way of being yourself, you will change your life. So first have a vision, create stretch experiences and put yourself in environments that stretch yourself. So here's another truth about your personality. And it's not only a story, it is also context dependent which means that your environment that you're in, maybe you are a certain way in that environment, but in a different environment, you may be completely different. So let's give you an example. Remember, I was shy and insecure and I was that in school. I was that with my friends. I was that in a certain environment. In class, I didn't speak up because I didn't want to embarrass myself. I didn't want to be rejected. I didn't, I didn't want to like look ugly or whatever. So I was shy in that context. I was shy in that environment. But then I changed the context. Listen, the time didn't change. But at the same time, I was playing soccer like almost every day. I loved it. And I was playing in certain groups where I was the youngest. Like people were like, sometimes 10, 15, 20 years older than me. I was like 14 or something like that. And I had so much more experience. But in that environment, in that environment of playing soccer, 
I was so confident. I was so bold because I believed in myself of being a soccer player. I didn't believe in myself as being someone who could actually socialize. So in those environments, I didn't like open up. I wasn't authentic. I wasn't expressing myself. But then in the soccer environment, I was so confident. I was so bold. I believed in myself so much. How could that be? Well, your personality is not the same in every environment. So maybe when you're around your old friends, you're goofy. Maybe you're awkward. Maybe you're shy. But then you're around these kinds of people and you're completely different. And that's because you are also oftentimes, and you can change that, of course, but oftentimes we are what people expect us to be. So if you've been in that environment, like in school, and people have been seeing you as that shy and insecure kid for a long, 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 long time, for years, they believe this is you. Now for you, it's harder to change. It's harder to move outside your comfort zone because every of your classmates will tell you, who are you again? That was my fear. I, I always wanted to be different, but I wanted to be living in alignment with who they thought I was. And of course, you can change that, but it's important to realize that your personality it is context dependent. It is not the same in every environment. But most importantly, make a choice of who you want to be. Realize in which context am I not being myself? Or am I not being the person I want to be? And then make a choice. I am going to be different. I am going to make my own opinion about myself more important than anybody else's because that's so critically important. If you want to live a great life, make your opinion about yourself most important. That is key to everything, because if you're always living to other people's expectations, well, it's going to be hard to change. It's going to be hard to create the life you really want. So make a choice of who you want to be and realize that your personality is not, it is not, permanent. It is flexible. It is not a universal truth. Nobody decided that except you yourself. You decided of who you want to be and you can change that. It is your truth right now. It was mine, but it doesn't have to be. You can change it at any minute. And here's another key point. We are always changing. We are always making new choices of who we want to be. The problem is oftentimes we repeat the same kind of choices over and over and over and over again unconsciously. Like in every moment you decide who you're going to be. In every moment you have the power to change it. In every moment you can be different. But most often we make those unconscious choices to be the same. I made that choice for seven years of my life where over and over and over and over decided I'm going to be the shy and insecure kid. This is who I am. But it doesn't have to be. You can change it. It is just your truth. And you get to decide what your truth really is. There are no personality types. Yes, in this moment they exist. Maybe you are that introvert. Maybe you are that extrovert, but that's just a snapshot of a moment. It just describes the present moment. It doesn't describe who you're going to be in the future. That is up to you. You get to decide that. And you need to understand that at first, it won't feel natural. It won't feel great because you are changing. You're doing something that you've never done before. When I was doing videos, it felt awkward. It felt unnatural. But it's important to understand that at first, it's supposed to be that way. Because you have all this proof of who you don't want to be anymore, that this is who you are, and you have little proof of, yeah, this is who I am now. So you need to create that proof. I've done over 500 videos on my YouTube channel and in my online courses. That's a lot. I mean, I learned a lot and I changed who I am. I can be like my true self here in this video. 
because all those videos, all those daily videos that I made, that changed who I am. That's so important to understand. Your change, it won't feel natural. At first, it will feel unnatural. It feel like, yeah, this is kind of awkward. This is kind of ugly. When I was going out on the street every single day to talk to one new woman, I mean, it was terrifying. It was awkward. I often had this fear of, well, what if I mess up? What if I, what if I say the wrong thing? What if it doesn't work? What if she slaps me in the face? That was a real fear I had. What if I get so embarrassed in public? But I had to overcome that. I had to overcome that. I had to rewrite my own story and become someone else. I needed to gain proof that this is who I am now. And you need to let go of expectations. When I did that, I often had these expectations of, yeah, if I talk to a woman, they better go out with me on a date. I better get their phone number. And it was killing me because I couldn't talk to them. I was so afraid. I was so attached to the outcome. But I was going out regardless every day with the intention of doing that. And that alone changed my life. Here's another truth. You don't need to be perfect. You don't need to get it right all the time. Just make a choice and be imperfect but move forward. That's another key because too many people, yeah, they sometimes do decide, yeah, I want to change my life. Yeah, I want to be different. But as soon as the first obstacle arrives, they go back to the old self, which is okay if you want to be at the old self and if you don't want to go through the hardship of overcoming the challenges, overcoming the like, setbacks and difficulties and obstacles and own self-doubts. But if you want to really be different, you need to go through that. You need to accept that. You need to anticipate that because it is going to be part of the journey. But you need to let go of the outcomes. It is not serving you. It didn't serve me. So when I create videos now, for example, I've learned that lesson. I don't care about the views. I don't care about the comments. I care about that one single person I can serve. And that's you. You're watching this video. So I celebrate you for being here. And I want to encourage you. You can change your life. You can create the success you want. You can create the relationship you want. You can create the feeling about yourself you want. You can create the confidence you want. But it starts with the belief that you actually can. Because most people believe that they can't and it's always holding them back. Because your belief about yourself and what you are capable of determines how far you can go. But there's another truth. You are limitless. I mean, we as humans, we haven't even scratched the surface of possibility. We haven't even scratched the surface of our own limitations. So you are more capable than you think. You are stronger than you think. And one last key point, appreciate your past too. Because it has served you in a certain way. Oftentimes when we decide, yeah, I'm this way, we do that because it has some benefits. I mean, I didn't like being shy. I didn't like being insecure. But it gave me certainty. I didn't have to go out and talk to strangers or talk to girls and be possibly rejected. It gave me certainty. It gave me security. It gave me a sense of, yeah, I, I, I'm not in danger here. And of course, that was like a silly thing, but it served me in some way because it kept me safe. So we need to realize that our past personality or the personality we want to move out of, it has served us in some way. And it brought us to this moment right here. It brought us to this moment right here. This is the deciding moment. This is the moment where you can decide, I want to be different. And most people never get to that moment. They never have this moment where they desperately want to change something. And that's where they always create the life that they always were living before. They always recreate the past week, the past month, the past year. But you are here, you're watching this. This could be the moment where you decide, no, I don't want an average life. 
I want to have an extraordinary life. I want to be so bold. I want to be so confident. I want to have so much depth and intimacy in my relationships. I want to have so much success. There is no limit to what you can achieve in life. But you need to decide that you want that. You need to decide that you want to be a certain way. You need to set yourself a goal of what kind of person you want to be and then just start being that every single day. This is critical to your success in life. Nothing else changes until you change who you are. So start changing who you are. Who do you need to be in order to achieve your dream, in order to achieve your vision? Post that down below and then also post what's one thing you're going to do every single day to wire in this new self, to change your personality. I would love to hear this. I would love to know and like let to know you. And then until the next time, make sure that if this video was valuable, you smash that like button so we trigger the YouTube algorithm. So you subscribe right here, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And then live fully, live openly, and be the leader of your life.